Okay, so then, we're live, dialed, as well, guys. Uh, today is a little bit different. First of all, because you can see me, and second, because we're inside a document, because we are going to make sentences together. Right? So that's what we're going to do today. And it's going to be fairly basic, the type of sentences. If you look here in the document, I mean, you can see that. Uh, it's mostly based on questions and then answers but we're gonna experiment a lot and modify like if there's a sentence then I'm gonna say oh what if we change this word or in the response what if we change that word right so we're gonna like experiment a little bit it's gonna be super duper so <laughs> let's begin the first one is something like what then go day how is it going how you doing what then go day how could you respond to that there are different ways. What an gaudy. You could say, "The go guts." It's going well. It's going fine. Going good. Or the go fiend. Or the go so god. It's going so well. The go super god. It's a little ridiculous over the top, but yeah, you can say it. The go super god, or maybe you say mega god. The go super god. The go mega god. The go bar super. Like uh, if you're really, you know, just doing well in life, everything is super. You know, you're like the go pa super, right? Kind of like that. So yeah, but then go de, how's it going? It's like the, the question, right? But then go de, yeah. But then go de, right? I say, but uh, then go de mel, how's it going with? But then go de met din uh, hun. What is hun? I think most of you know. But then go to meet the hun, your dog. Right? How's it going with your dog? You can say again, they got God, they got Fiend, they got so God, they got Super God, or Mega God. But maybe it's not going so well. You can say ah, they got Dolit, uh, they got Skits. Okay, they're sort of interchangeable here. Ah, they got Dolit, they got Skits. Right? They got Exa God. It's not going so well. Go Hexagot, hi, the God Egg, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. uh, they go really dull, it's like really bad, right? Virkelig dull, it's. Yeah, so that's kind of sad, but you know, gotta practice somehow, so it is what it is. They go really dull, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's one option. You could also change hun to something else. You could say uh, kæreste. Right? Uh, hvordan går det med din kæreste? Oh, things. How's it going with your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Like your lover. It's a gender neutral word, kæreste. Hvordan går det med din kæreste? And again, det går godt, det går fint, det går så godt, det går super godt, det går mega godt, det går dårligt, det går skidt, det går ikke så godt. Uh, you could also make it longer by saying something like uh, "Det går rigtig godt for tiden." Right? Well, let's take out the "rigtig" and make it simple. "Det går godt for tiden." Maybe some of you already know this. Uh, "For tiden" means at the moment, and like these days. So yeah, that sort of uh, stresses when it is, and it's right now. So "Det går godt for tiden." It's kind of like that. "Det går godt for tiden." Or they go a little skit for tiden. It's going a little bad, poorly at the moment. Like things are not so smooth. Kind of like that. They go good for tiden. They go a little skit for tiden. And so on. Okay? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Alright. You go by super. Yeah, yeah. What else we got? We got this one. Vem er du? <laughs> That's a great question. Vem er du? Like, who are you? So that's uh, probably something you've you've heard before. I would say if you say it in real life, it can be a little bit strange. It's a little bit oblivious. Like, let me do. Who are you? I, uh, but but anyway, just for uh, practicing purposes. Vem uh, Jeg er. There are a million options. Jeg er din far. That's always a good one. Jeg er din far, which of course means. I am your father. I'm so like that. Vem er du? Jeg er din far. Eller jeg er. Uh, and you can just say the name. Ikke? P 
Peter, Mikael, Wolverine, whatever you want to write. Right? Yeah, yeah, any name really. There we go. So then, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you see, uh, yeah, er slagteren. Think about that while I'm writing the next one. Yeah, slagteren. Yeah, er uh, pedellen. Yeah, er uh, tjeneren. Yeah, er um, gesten. It's a little strange, but good for grammar purposes. Yeah, yeah, slagteren. What does that mean? It means I am the butcher. I know that sounds very bloody and all, but I just mean a, an ordinary butcher. Right? So here we are taking some professions, like maybe you're waiting for a particular person of some profession. You're like, hey, where is he? And, and then he shows up and he's like, yeah, yeah, like that. I'm the butcher. Jeg er pedellen. Jeg er pedellen. Pedell is janitor. Right? So, uh, yeah. Because you know the janitor doesn't have a real name, he's just the janitor. Right? Jeg er pedellen. Pedellen. Jeg er tjeneren. Jeg er tjeneren. I am the waiter or waitress. It's both. Jeg er tjeneren. Hmm? Og jeg er gæsten. Jeg er gæsten. I am the guest. Now, of course, this is strange if you don't have a context, but you always have a context because that's how uh, real life works, right? So it's gonna be something like, oh yeah, I'm the guest, like, I'm the whatever. So yeah, ja slagteren, yeah, ja pedellen, yeah, ja chainen, yeah, ja guest. There, so many options there. It's super awesome. Yeah. Um, we say, uh, jeg er uh, manden og kvinden. Du har ventet på. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Jeg er manden og kvinden. Du har ventet på. I am the man or woman. Du har ventet på. You waited for or you've been waiting for. Jeg er manden og kvinden. Du har ventet på. It's a little bit over the top, but it's very good for you know looking at the grammar. Right? I am uh, the man, woman, that, which, who, something, something. You've been waiting for them in this case, right? Uh, versus, du har ringet til. You called. Jeg er manden og kvinde, du har ringet til. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of the beauty here is that you have the structure and then you just change a few word, right? words like that. I see something down here. Someone is asking in the document, kan du prøve at udtale rød grød med fløde? Well, yeah. Rød grød med fløde, right? So that's how it is. That's how you know you made it. Like if you can say that, then uh, you're on the right track. Eh? That's pretty good. Rød grød med fløde. It doesn't even taste that good. I mean, I want risen grød, like rice pudding. So yeah, we just say it to mess with you guys. Rød grød med fløde. Rød grød med fløde. Back up again. Right? Jeg er manden kvinde, du har ringet til. Hvem er jeg? Jeg er... Jeg er din ven, ikke? I'm your friend. Jeg er din bror, søster, fætter. Oh yeah, this could be interesting. Jeg er din halvbror. Ah, what is that? Halvbror, ikke? Yeah, 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 yeah. Halvbror is half brother, ikke? So maybe he shows up out of nowhere like, Hvem er du? Jeg er din halvbror, <laughs> Eller halvsøster. So that's half brother or half sister. Uh, what else could it be? Uh, jeg er din ekskæreste. It's kind of messed up, but I just imagine the scenario. Uh, ekskæreste means ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-lover. So maybe they show up and they look completely different. So, hvem er du? Jeg er din ekskæreste. Right? So, so this could be a lot of things. Jeg er. Okay, I see something in the live chat here. Uh, Rapolion asks, skid is bad. Uh, yes, that is correct. That's what it means. Right? But skid also has another meaning. Uh, but we'll get to that some other time. But for now, let's just say it's bad. Okay, cool. Now, what else we got? Let's see. You could say, uh, Hvad tænker du på? Right? Hvad tænker du på? 
What are you thinking about? Ah, there's so many things you can say about that. Hvad tænker du på? Hvad tænker du på? Ja. Tænker på... Risengrød. Oh yeah, probably ham. Jeg tænker på risengrød. Thinking about rice pudding. Jeg tænker på min familie. Jeg tænker på min familie. Thinking about my family. Or maybe you could say, uh, jeg tænker på min, uh, doesn't have to be me, eh? jeg tænker på uh, en historie, jeg hørte i går. Jeg tænker på en historie, jeg hørte i går. I'm thinking about a story I heard yesterday. Right? So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But you know, sometimes the response is gonna be shorter. Uh, of course, you say, "I think about die." I'm thinking about you. Yeah, I think about die. Yeah, I think about die. I'm thinking about you. But sometimes you just get like, "Ignore, ignore, nothing." Right? Literally, not anything. People will not always say a full sentence. Like they're not gonna say, "Yeah, I think I ignore all." Like I mean, you can. But a lot of the time it's going to be shorter than that. It's a little fragment, a little uh, bit of a sentence. What do you think? Ignore. Ignore. Depending on the dialect. Uh, mm, what else could it be? Ingenting. Ingenting. Nothing. This literally means nothing. Ignore is also nothing, but it's more like not anything. Ingenting is literally nothing. Uh-huh. In this case, though, they have the same uh, purpose function, so you don't need to worry about which one to use here. Jeg tænker ikke på noget. Jeg tænker på ingenting. Right? Or it's rare that people say, jeg tænker på ingenting, because then they wouldn't say it. If it's nothing, then it's nothing. Then they don't have to announce it. They're like, oh, right? So, yeah, jeg tænker på. Let's make it a little bit longer. I'll give you a challenge here. Jeg tænker på det, du sagde. Here, then and then day. Now let's make it harder than that. Du sagde om min dansestil. Dansestil here, then and then day. All right, all right. Challenge for you. Jeg tænker på det du sagde om min dansestil here, then and day. What is that? Yeah. What is that? It's like I'm thinking about the thing, like the what. I'm thinking about the thing you said about my dance style or dancing style the other day. Like he had an end day the other day. It's like just a few days ago. Jeg tænker på det du sagde om min dansestil her den anden dag. Hi. Yeah. All right. Let's move on a little bit.